This week we started remodeling our kitchen. We ripped off the countertops, we ripped out all the cabinets, even the floor. Wait, this is clickbait. Brad promised us the dull canvas and now he's hitting us with kitchen remodeling. Okay, give me a second. I can explain this. This is totally relevant. We had to take everything out of the kitchen and move it to other parts of the house that didn't have as much stuff in them. And one of those places is here in my office. Not only that, but the guy is like hammering and sawing all day and the art is falling off my wall. I point this out because for the next few weeks, every video I shoot, all the product shots, I'm gonna have boxes and teapots in the background. And for those of you who are new here, I just want you to know it's normally not like this. Sometimes it's worse. Anyway, back to the canvas. These are just my first impressions. If there's anything specifically you want me to cover in the review, let me know in the comments down below. But for now, I'm just gonna give you kind of an overview of what it's like early on. All right, I've been trying to get my hands on one of these for about two months now. And this really consisted of stalking people who work for Dell on LinkedIn. And lo and behold, it worked. In fact, it worked way better than I thought it did because not only did they send me the 27 inch Dell canvas that is a drawing tablet plus other things, they also sent me this giant 27 inch precision all in one PC as well. How was this setup? I got it running pretty quick, but I, I don't think my setup is the kind of setup that everybody else is going to have. Since they sent me the computer, it's a review unit and then it's one that someone had used beforehand and had a canvas hooked up to. It was, it was nice for me anyway, because I just literally plugged it in and it was already working drivers. It even had like the Adobe suite already on there. Obviously that's not the experience everybody's gonna have. So I, I want to kind of test that out more. I want to plug it into my laptop, see how it runs on that too. But I will say, if you want to leave a good first impression with me, not having to fiddle with drivers is a way to do it. So it was really kind of neat. I, I powered it up, I picked up the pen, and I literally just started drawing on it and was getting everything working. It was like a five minute thing. I, I did have some problems because I, I am terrible at plugging in cords. <laughs> Yeah, and the teapots weren't helping me much either. So the canvas uses Wacom pen technology. It's pretty much what I expected. The specs are almost identical to the 27-inch Wacom Cintiq QHD. Now, Wacom's QHD comes in two flavors, strawberry and taco shell. I literally can't find anything in this office right now. All right, got it. Two flavors, the standard QHD, which is about $100 more than this, and the QHD Touch, which is about $500 more. The Dell Canvas has touch in it, so even though it's only $100 more than the standard Wacom QHD, it's actually more comparable to the one that's more expensive because it has the touch built in. As a side note, Wacom will be replacing the QHD early next year with a giant 32 inch version. I'm not even gonna tell you how much that one costs. Get that off the screen. Not that the canvas is cheap either. It starts at $1,800. The one major drawback that a lot of people are gonna point out that, that isn't like commonly known, I don't think, at least I didn't know until I started talking to folks is that right now, this is Windows only. There aren't any Mac drivers available for the canvas. As far as connections, you have several different cords that you can use. You can use just a plain old USB-C to USB-C connection uh, and, and you can drive every Thing through that. Right now I am using the HDMI connection and standard USB connection to power this thing. Also has a power cord. Of course it has a power cord. The one thing that is kind of fun to play with is this guy. This is the Totem, which is very similar to the Puck that comes with the Surface Pro. I don't think it's called the Puck on the Surface Pro, but this is called the Totem. And, and so you could program this to do things like change your brush size or change the brush color, stuff like that. Depending on the program, not everything supports that yet. I've only played with it a tiny bit, but it's a little bit customizable. Kind of acts as a is a, a replacement almost, not quite to like a shortcut key remote type thing. In addition, along the side of the canvas itself, there's some extra USB ports, so it acts as a USB hub. There's also an extra headphone port as well that you can plug your headphones into. That doesn't come with its own stand. There is a little flap that comes out so you can adjust it a little bit, but, but not a whole lot. You can jump on Dell's website. It's a little bit more, actually a lot more, but it, you can get an adjustable stand for it. Also, there's a mounting thing on the back, so if you wanted to mount it to some kind of adjustable arm, you can definitely do that too. If you're wondering about the precision computer that they sent me, I might do another video, maybe a video about like video production, kind of as a bonus video since I've got it here. The reps over at Dell were telling me all about the canvas and, and the precision and how they envision this as more than just a drawing tool. A uh, part of it is, is, isn't just designed for the drawing, even though you can definitely do that. Part of the vision here is that Windows is a touch interface, but if you've got a computer kind of far away from you, reaching out and touching the screen 
really isn't all that practical, but if you've got a computer sitting like right in front of you with a touch screen, you can use a lot of that touch, touch functionality that comes with a lot of these programs and use a lot of that stuff that Windows comes with without having to reach up and touch the screen. So it's kind of a cool idea and part of the reason why I'm gonna dive into like some video production on this as well to kind of test out that functionality. But I wanna, I wanna leave that separate from the illustration video that I'm going to do, the illustration review. So yeah, first impressions have been pretty good. I haven't run it through all my pen tests, but I have been using it for drawing and things like that, getting some stuff, been using Adobe Illustrator a lot in the last day for a client project on it. So yeah, so far, so far pretty impressed with the setup. The one thing I'm not sure about how I'm gonna do is usually I set up my tripod like, like right here, like right in front of me. And it's a little weird because I got to reach around it while I'm drawing, which is why sometimes my lines are a little shakier than I want them to be. Uh, but when I set my tripod on, up like that to, to record, it's too big. I, I can't fit it all in one video. So I don't know, maybe I'm gonna like attach it to the ceiling or come up with some kind of other way of filming or maybe not. Anyway, since I've been alluding to this for a long time, I just want to get a quick video first impressions video out. Like I said before, if you have any comments or questions, anything you want to cover specifically in the review that'll be coming in a few days, let me know down below in the comments and I'll try to get to as many of those questions as I can. That's all I've got. I guess I'm going to see you guys in a couple of days.